Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Welcome to a brand new episode of In The Shop. Okay, listen, you asked for it, you want them, and I have them here for you. I'm talking about Maxent Flatworm. Man, it's unbelievable in the last few months how many tournaments have been won with this bait. And because of that and your interest in this lure, we're going to do an in the shop today talking about different ways to rig the Berkeley Powerbait Maxent Flatworm. And it's such a cool little bait. Um, you know, when you look at it from a shape standpoint, look at that little thing. It's, you know, just a little three and a half, four inch bait, um, kind of has a bait fish profile, a little sort of bulbous tail. And the neat thing about this lure is one side of it is totally flat. Um, but in the water, depending on how you rig it, it doesn't have a lot of big action. It's got a more subtle, neutral action to it. So it's more natural, it's more subdued, and it's more of a flowing action. And you know, for fish that are pressured, it's perfect. For fish in clear water, more uh, clarity to the water, it's perfect. And of course, for species like smallmouth and spotted bass, they go crazy for that. So the profile's right, the shape is right. And then the other thing I wanna talk about before I get into rigging is max scent. And what does max scent mean? Um, you know, max scent is a technology that Berkeley developed where this bait emits scent. And you know, scent is so important when, when you're fishing. I don't care what species you're fishing for, but especially bass, especially smallmouth, scent is so important. So, you know, a bass uses, uses sight, right? It uses the vibration through its lateral line, um, you know, different ways it feeds, but it also feeds with smell. And that's the amazing thing about this max scent. Um, is how it emits scent. And you can smell it. It's, it's terrible, it's nasty, it's the grossest thing you've ever smelled. But fish really respond to it. Once again, listen to me. When the fishing's tough, when the bite's off, scent's important. That's gonna get you extra bites. More importantly than that, it's gonna help the fish find the lure, right? They're gonna find it by using their scent of smell. One last thing about Maxent, uh, if you know Berkeley Gulp, you know, you know how important that scent is. And with Berkeley Gulp, one of the issues was always it drying out. You'd put it on a hook, the sun would be out, you'd go to move or you'd stop fishing for a little bit and the bait would be dried out. Maxent is like Gulp, but it does not dry out in that hot weather. So another benefit of Maxent. Um, but this flatworm is special and I want to show you four different ways that I rig it. And the first two are different rigging methods for the same technique. And I wanna start with the most popular, and that's drop shotting. Um, drop shotting is the most amazing way to rig this bait, okay? And you know, again, let's look at a drop shot. It's such a simple rigging technique. And if you look at it, it's a hook tied in line with the length of leader below the hook to a weight that's on the bottom. Uh, you're down, this is called what's called a down lead. And the nice thing about a drop shot is it keeps the bait off the bottom. You could adjust the height of your lead, but it keeps the bait off the bottom and it keeps it in place dancing. Even when you're not moving it, the bait's off the bottom, moving around. I mean, look at that thing. That's a lot like a little bait fish, a little minnow, even a crawfish or a goby off the bottom. It has that same kind of movement in place, which a lot of fish do in the natural world, right? So there's drop shotting. And my number one rigging method for the flat worm on a drop shot is nose hooked, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm taking this bait, taking that little flat worm, I'm getting this is a split shot, drop shot style hook. 
This is a great one. I love by VMC. This is the VMC Shore Set Drop Shot Hook. And I use a number one or a number two size hook. And that's the right size for that little, that little flatworm. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that bait and when I nose hook it on that drop shot hook, listen to me, just keep this in mind. You always want that flat side. You see that flat side? You always want that facing down. So all I'm going to do is I go from the flat side, I'm going to go in about an eighth of an inch and I'm just going to push it through the nose of the bait. And it keeps it nice and straight. And when I want a little more action, when I want a little more action on a drop shot, this is how I'm rigging it. I'm nose hooking it. Um, you know, for sure, uh, there are some limitations when you're in heavy cover, but if you're in sparse cover, open water, places where an exposed hook is okay, and you want more action on your drop shot, you want to nose hook it rig drop shot style, okay? So there's your first one, is drop shot style, nose hooked, okay? The second one, and I want you, to, want you to see this, is drop shot, the same exact setup, right? A down lead, you could adjust it, the weight on the bottom, the hook tied in line, but instead, instead of that drop shot, split shot style hook, I'm gonna go to a VMC Nico finesse hook. And when you look at that hook, it's, it's a really, it's a hybrid hook. It's sort of a, a cross between um, an offset hook and a straight shank hook. It's got a sort of a, a hybrid design. The other thing, this finesse Nico hook, it has a little fluorocarbon keeper on there to help you keep your bait pegged. And I'm gonna use this hook on a drop shot when I want a little less action, right? When, I, when it's nose hooked and that bait's dancing all over, if I wanna neutralize that action just a little bit, I'm gonna use that Nico Finesse. But watch this now. I'm not gonna nose hook it. You ready for this one? I'm gonna thread it. I'm gonna thread this little Maxent worm on that hook and it's going to deaden the action just a little bit. The other thing it's going to do when I thread it is if you're missing fish, nose hooked, if you're having short strikes or you have a bite and you're missing them, by threading you're going to get more bite. There's more hook in the meat of the bait and it does increase your hookup ratio, okay? Just like in nose hooking, only thing I want you to remember, we want the flat side down, okay? So when I thread it, make sure the hook point is facing the opposite way of the bottom, the flat side of that bait. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go, this is as old school as you can get. I'm going to go in the nose of the bait, and I'm just going to thread it. Get about halfway down that body. And that little keeper on that Nico Finesse is going to do such a good job of keeping that bait in place. And if you look at it, it's like the nose hook, except it's threaded. And because there's more hook in the body, it'll deaden the action just a little bit. And there's times when that subtle difference in movement works. Also, once again, great, great, great for when uh, the fish are short striked. They're short striking the bait, okay? One last technique on drop shotting, using that same hook, and you heard me talk about the downside of exposed hook, whether it's nose hook or threading. The downside is it's hard to fish it in heavy cover. So if I'm in thick grass, if I'm in trees, if I'm pitching a drop shot around docks, I use that same hook. Here it goes again. This is the VMC Nico Finesse. Size two is perfect. You could also get away with a size one, but I love the size number two. And now instead of threading it, all I'm gonna do is Texas rig it, okay? I want that flat side down, go in the nose of a bait about an eighth of an inch, pull it out, go around that little keeper barb, oh, pop it out, and look at this. Now on that same drop shot, right? The weight on the bottom, 
the hook tied in line, now I can present that bait Texas rigged and keep it out of the snags. Okay, so there's three different rigging methods for the flatworm on a drop shot. And in my opinion, it's one of the best ways to rig it. Okay, got number two coming at you. This is another great method. And I, I love it with the flatworm because of that flat side. I'm gonna talk about it here in a second. Is the flatworm on a jig head. On a jig head. Specifically on a Ned head style jig head, okay? Uh, this is one I love. This is a VMC finesse half moon. It's a mushroom style, little blunt style head. It's got a 90 degree line tie. It's a great jig head. Um, and I like lighter jig head weights when I'm rigging it like this. I like a 16th, an eighth, maybe up to a 3 16th in a little bit deeper water. But all I do on that jig head is just like we did with the Finesse Nico hook, I thread it on there. And now I've got the perfect little Ned head bait, Ned rig bait, okay? Just like in the rigging methods for a drop shot, look at this how important it is to have the flat side facing down, facing the opposite way of the bend of that hook. And here's the benefit of the flat worm versus some other Ned Rig baits that you may be fishing, is that on the fall, especially those lighter heads, a 32nd, a 16th, even an eighth ounce head, that flat side on that worm, it's called the flat worm, catches water. Think about it, flat, catches more water, almost like a sled going down a hill. And as this jig head flatworm falls, it glides a little bit, right? A lot of other Ned baits that are round or whatever, they go straight down, they just fall straight. But because of that flat bottom, you get a little more glide to it, it catches a little more water on the fall. That's why the second rigging method, which is on a jig head, Ned head style, this is my second favorite way to rig the flatworm, okay? Last but not least, I got one more, and this is for a lot of my old school guys. A lot of anglers out there, they're not in the drop shot, they're not in the Ned rigging, and you're fishing more cover situations, right? Grass comes to mind. If you're an angler that fishes around grass, milfoil, hydrilla, lily pads, a coontail, uh, any vegetation. Or if you're fishing heavy cover, right? If you're fishing docks or stumps or brush or lay down trees, sometimes the drop shot's not the deal. The exposed jig head certainly is not the deal. That's why my third favorite method to rig the flatworm, this is a sleeper, don't sleep on this one, is old school Texas rig. An old school Texas rig. And you know how simple Texas rig is. Using a bobber stop, I'm using a VMC, a small size sinker stop, thread that on the line. I'm using a VMC tungsten worm weight. I like smaller weight sizes with this flat worm. An eighth ounce up to about a quarter, if I'm flipping maybe a 5 16th at the heaviest. Okay, there's my tungsten weight. And last but not least, there it goes again, the good old Finesse Nico hook in size two or size one is the perfect hook. And that Texas rig, when you look at it, look how streamlined, right? Think about a lot of baits that tech guys Texas rig with. Ribbon tail worms, big crawls, big creatures. Look, look at me, they're big, they're, they got action, they got legs, they got tentacles. It's a big action, but, but as it's gone down in cover, it's getting caught. The legs and arms are hitting the cover. Look how streamlined that four inch flatworm is. Look at it, very streamlined, in and out, very subtly. Not a lot of big action to it and gets in and out of cover real easily. You add the fact that it's max scent and as you pitch it in there and that scent's dispersing, you got a bait that can catch fish behind people fishing traditional Texas rig. So my third method's an old school one, but it's a good one. It's Texas rigging the flatworm. Um, man, listen, I know you've heard the buzz 
I know how hard these things are to get right now. So I hope you can get some. They're gonna be available, I'm sure, in a lot of places soon. If not, cop some off eBay. These things are the real deal. The shape of that worm, you add to that the scent, and you've got a killer. For smallmouth, spotted bass, and even for big largemouth, this thing's a killer. Uh, man, I hope you enjoyed this segment in the shop. We talked about some different ways to rig the hottest bait in the country right now. That's the Berkeley Powerbait Flatworm. I uh, hope you enjoyed this segment of In the Shop. If you did, do me a favor, real quick. Stop for a second. If you're not a subscriber, mash that subscribe button for me. Subscribe to our channel. You're gonna get great content every week. We got new stuff coming at you. If you're already subscribed, do me a favor. Tell your fishing friend, tell your buddy about my channel. Have them subscribe. They're gonna love it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck, good fishing. Get you some flatworms.